In this video, we're looking at the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation or the nature of the solutions of the quadratic equation. The roots or the solutions are basically where the quadratic equation cuts the x-axis on our coordinate graph. Now our minus b formula is used to find those roots, but all we're trying to look at here um, is basically finding out the nature of those roots. So whether uh, the two roots cross the x-axis, whether it only touches the x-axis once, or maybe they don't cross the x-axis at all. And in order to do that, we use what's known as the discriminant. And the discriminant is basically just using the part in the square roots, the b squared minus 4ac. That's the only part that we're focusing in on here. And that's what's known as the discriminant. And when we solve that, or uh, sub in our values for a, b, and c, that will tell us the nature of the roots, whether there's two of them, one of them, or none. So looking at three examples here, the first one is asking us to determine the nature of the roots in the following equation. So the first one here is minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. So the value of my a in this uh, quadratic equation is minus 2. The value of my b is positive 3 and the value of my c is positive 1. If I sub them in now to b squared minus 4ac and we'll solve that we're getting 3 squared minus 4 times minus 2 times positive 1 which is giving me 17. Now what that can tell us is when the value of our b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 we can conclude that this quadratic equation has two different roots, two distinct roots. And what does that look like basically on our coordinate graph? So for this quadratic, it's a negative quadratic and it would look something like uh, this. Again, it's not telling us where it crosses the x-axis, it's just telling us that there are two distinct or different roots to that quadratic equation. So that's our first uh, scenario done. When b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, we have two distinct roots. Looking at the second example here, b squared plus 8x plus 16. So in this example, a is going to be positive 1, the coefficient of the x squared. The b is the coefficient of the x, which is 8, and c is going to be our constant 16. I then sub them into my discriminant, which is again given as b squared minus 4ac. And subbing them in, I get b, which is 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times positive 16 and working that out I'm getting uh, 0. So what does that tell us? When our discriminant is equal to 0 it basically means that we only have one real root or equal roots basically. So in the first example we had a greater than 0 meaning there were two distinct roots. When I get my solution to equal to 0 it means we just have one real root. Or in other words, they are basically uh, equal roots. It's touching the same point. And let's look at it on our coordinate graph again, just to see what it might look like. So this particular quadratic equation, x squared plus 8x plus 16, would look something like this. It's a positive uh, parabola, so it comes down, and it touches the graph at exactly one point. Again, it doesn't tell us the actual roots here, it just tells us the nature of the roots and it tells us that there's just uh, one real uh, equal root, basically. So now looking at our second example, so that's our, sorry, that's our second example, looking at our third example, and let's just box that off. So it's telling us that when our discriminant is equal to zero, that we've only one real root. So example three, two x squared plus one x plus five is equal to zero. That's telling us here that our a is 2, our b is the number in front of the x, which is 1, and our c is going to be positive 5. So again, the question here is asking us to determine the nature of the roots of this equation. So that's getting me to focus in on my discriminant again, which is given by b squared minus 4ac. And when I sub in my values for a, b, and c, so my b is going to be the coefficient of the x, which is 1, 4 times 2 times c, which is 5, I evaluate that and I'm getting 1 minus 40, which is negative 39. And what's happening here? It's now giving me a value which is minus figure, less than zero. 
So this is our third scenario, when our value is less than zero. What does this mean? This basically tells us that we actually have no real roots. What we're given here are basically imaginary roots. And we look at imaginary roots in more detail when we get to complex numbers. But for now, we just need to know the nature of them. And it basically means that we do not have any real roots. It doesn't cross the x-axis, in other words. So what would that look like on our coordinate graph again? So let's just sketch it out. So we draw our x, y axis. And in this particular quadratic equation, 2x squared plus x plus 5, again, we don't need to be able to sketch it here. This is just to visualize it. But it would look something like this. It would come down and it actually cuts the y axis, but it doesn't actually cross my x axis. And when it doesn't cross the x axis, it basically means it doesn't have um, uh, real roots. So let's just recap on what we have there. So we have three scenarios b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, or the discriminant is equal to zero, or the discriminant is less than zero. So they're the three that we've just listed out. And we know now when it's greater than zero that it has two distinct roots. When it is uh, less than zero, it is imaginary roots, it has none. And when it's b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, then it has one distinct root. And just remember here up the top, the discriminant of a quadratic equation is given by b squared minus 4ac. And if we just need to revise what a root is, the roots to an equation are the solutions to the equation, where it cuts the x-axis, basically. Okay, so that's our revision video on the discriminant, i.e. the nature of the quadratic roots.